Hello, and welcome to Whiskey with Rye, where we talk about the nose and taste of whiskey three different ways, straight, with water, and on the rocks. This episode, the whiskey I'm with, Basil Hayden Toast. Uh, so this is the newest uh, in the Basil Hayden line, or at least at this time, uh, the recording this. Um, toast. Uh, so as part of the rebranding of Basil Hayden, uh, they've repackaged it and they introduced this one, uh, to the line. Um, this one is unique in two ways. Uh, first, uh, it does go a secondary finish in a toasted barrel, which if you remember the Elijah Craig toasted episode that I did with Podman, with Podman, did I call him Podman on there with Big Dev? Editor Big Dev, check out his stuff. Um, we didn't mention that it was a secondary finish. We thought they just fully aged it. We were wrong. I will admit that. We were wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, but you'll also remember we didn't really enjoy it. Um, so this one also does a secondary finish in a toasted barrel. Don't know how long. Um... The second really unique thing, and probably the thing I'm most excited for, uh, is the fact that this replaces the rye with brown rice in the bourbon. So it is, oh, where'd it go? Sorry. 63% uh, corn, hashtag corn, 10% malted barley, 27% brown rice and then from what i can see uh they ate it in normal oak charred oak secondary finish in toasted barrels and then they blend another brown rice bourbon in and then proof it down uh it's new it's exciting let's jump into it and uh while i do our pours Oh, that was a good one, Dev. Uh, while we do our pours, please do make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, click the bell. Just interact with us. By us, I mean me. Any kind of Dev, I guess. There's that sweet pouring action that you all come here for. Um, and also, before I get too far, it is just 80 proof. Uh, so they do proof it down. Now, interestingly enough, I kind of had a feeling something like the brown rice whiskey was going to be bourbon was going to be coming down the line um, because chapter four of Little Book has brown rice bourbon in it, which was kind of out of nowhere. So um, I think that was kind of their first foray into, hey, this is a little, little insight, little sneak peek, Easter egg, if you will. Um but yeah, let's uh, jump into it. And just a reminder, Basil Hayden is out of Jim Beam, which is Beam Suntory or Suntory Beam. I don't know. I don't remember who comes first now. Nope. So on the note, definitely some like uh, dry peanut dust, like the dust off the shell of peanut. Peanut buttery, creamy smell. Like you, the brown rice doesn't seem to really be showing up here. So, so far so good. Uh, let's jump into the taste. Cheers. All right. I'm overall, I'm, I'm running into an issue. And I don't, and I think it's just from the toasted finish. It's thin. It's watery, thin, 
very plain. Like, there's just nothing there. And like during the research for this episode, yes, I do research. It's like four and a half stars, highly reviewed, all these flavors that people are getting out of this. I get wood spice. I get water. I um, like, I don't even want to add water to this. Like it's already there. Not just give me regular basil Hayden. Eh. All right. We're going to do this. Uh, we're going to skip the water. Sorry, but there's no way the water does anything nice to this whiskey. We are going to do our ice. Out of our handy dandy Yeti. Let me let me read you some of the stuff that other people are finding, I guess. Um, coffee, butterscotch, sweet bread. Flavors work well together. You can't find the flavors. On the nose, baking campfire scents. Maybe I'm just having an off day, but none of that is happening for me. On the finish, slight ramp up of heat and spice. I will say it warms up your mouth, but maybe some leather. Fails to impress in any meaningful way. I think that sums up this whiskey. We'll see. With the eyes. Uh, I obviously want a heavier pour just so it didn't. I, I poured the water. Yeah, I combined. Don't yell at me. I mean, if I'm stretching, maybe some leather. I don't know. I think this one's worth a skip. It's a lot of hype. It's a gimmick. Um, but no, no, I I can't do that. There's a wrestling reference there, but um, yeah, just save yourself the fifty bucks or send me the fifty bucks. You just want to throw it away. Cheers.